All right, guys. So basically, I want to make um, a video that explains my IRL backpack setup circa November 13th, 2019. I will explain all the parts to this backpack setup. So for you who wants to be an IRL streamer, uh, hopefully I can help you out because a lot of other IRL streamers who are bigger than me have helped me out. So I'm trying to pay it forward. But I want to implore you that before I explain this backpack, uh, please join my Discord. Uh, I'll put all the information there in text form and also with links. I didn't do it yet, but I'll do it in the future. Uh, so it'll be a little bit easier for you to follow along. And if you want to purchase them, you can purchase them right away. If you are considering purchasing anything from, um, anything from my setup, please use my blacksmith. If you guys purchase it from my blacksmith, my Amazon blacksmith, any of these parts from my Amazon blacksmith, I get a commission. So I'm supporting you guys for free. Please think about supporting me at the same time. Anyways, I just want to get that out of the way. <laughs> so this is my backpack. Let me talk first about the first part of the backpack, which is um, the backpack itself which is a mesh backpack by the brand called Montbell. And this is the 18 liter version. This is actually a really good backpack because it's a mesh. And uh, what, what the mesh does is that it allows like all your electronics that it's inside not to overheat. And it looks really cool. The only thing I wish it had was like more pockets and like, and stuff on the, on the straps and things like that. The thing that really helps this backpack is how I organized it onto this setup so the whole thing can be just gutted out and pulled from the mouth and it's all right there so the organizer itself is a um electronics organizer that uses elastic straps and uh you can just basically do what i do and get all the pieces and put all the items in the elastic straps and the other thing is what i do is i put i bought a, another one which is a smaller one right here, which has a lot of, uh, the cables that you'll need. These are, most of these are like backup cables and this is the heart of it. So let me start from the beginning. This is the live view solo, which is a encoder. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a video encoder and you feed video into it via an HDMI cable. And what it can do is that it can use multiple wireless sources and, uh, bond them basically. So you have a strong wireless signal and you have different options and things like that. So this is better than a phone because uh, you can put any type of camera. It costs about a thousand dollars, maybe less than a thousand. You can find it for maybe 800 to 900 something. But uh, if you're gonna buy it from Amazon, please buy it from my, my blacksmith. So the second part is the camera. So the camera that typically IRL streamers use is this camera, which is called the uh, Sony AS300. The benefits of this camera is that it's a wide angle action camera, uh, and it has really good stabilization and a good mic. I put a black, uh, 3d printed body. The good thing about this is that it has like the furry thing, which is a part of it. The selfie stick that I use, uh, I forgot what brand this is, but you can find it in the link. Uh, it's really thin one and it's really sturdy. It can extend. I use this quick disconnect, which is like this thing right here. It's red. And then you can slide the, the plates on there pretty easily on and off. And I have actually um, a suction cup mount on the inside of my car, which also has this quick disconnect. So I can easily go from here to on top of my car. And I also have um, this uh, one on the arm strap, which you can just put on here pretty easily too. So going on and off in between super easy. The other thing about this selfie stick is that it has a detachable, uh, tripod feet. And I call these the, the silencer because it looks like a silencer, but it's, this is really helpful for just like, you know, you can hold it and then you can also plant it on a table if you're going to do a mukbang somewhere. And I hold my phone, which is a galaxy S nine on this, um, this is like a bike phone holder. So this is actually meant to like mount your phone onto a bike, uh, handle, but I use it for the selfie stick cable, which is a HDMI micro cable. So the HDMI micro cable comes in the back 
uh, there's another cable. You can see that there are two cables. The other one is a USB uh, cable that's also used to give the camera some power, right? So let's talk about the HDMI. The HDMI comes into here. The thing about the HDMI cables is that these break all the time. I always carry a uh, backup HDMI cable in the back. You might have saw it just in case this HDMI cables breaks because they break all the time. The, the other cable is going into this battery which powers the camera because uh, the camera's battery itself only is, has about a one hour's um, capacity and the live view itself has about a two hour capacity so I put this into this battery which is the charge tech um, this is a 36,000 milliamp, uh, milliamp hour battery this is the Max Oak 50,000 uh, milliamp hour battery and I put a lot of stickers on mine but it has much more uh, outputs and also um, this has more capacity so this I think can last about more than 10 hours this one lasts about eight hours I want to say depending on give or take a few and then plus you have to remember that these have internal batteries so or how many uh, modems do I use I personally use two modems this is the Hua, but let, me, let me talk about the first one, which is a tiny one, and I really recommend this one. This is the, I don't know how to pronounce it, Huawei actual model is the E8372H-517. So this particularly is the 517. Uh, and I have this one using, I think this is unlocked, so this is using a T-Mobile. And I have a, um, what is this called, a uh, Netgear. Uh, Nighthawk. This is the the AT and T version, but it's unlocked. I got most of these used. This one particularly, I think they regularly go for 150 to 200. But I luckily I found it from some guy who was selling it for 80 bucks. This stuff. So this one is uh, on my backpack. Uh, this is actually the thing that I use for shoulder mount camming. Strap is for your wrist, so you're supposed to put it around your wrist. It's for a GoPros. And then I got a GoPro to a universal tripod mount adapter. So um, in order for me to be able to mount the quick disconnect on here. The speaker is a Bose Sound Micro Link. Sound, Sound Link Micro, sorry. The re there's two different types of speakers that IRL users use. The other one is the JBL Flip or the JBL Clip, I'm sorry. I had that one too, but the thing about that one is that it will turn off after 20 minutes of use, uh, of, of idle use. Uh, so if you're not getting a lot of donations or anything like that, but there, there's probably ways to get around it. But in any case, if, it, if nothing happens for 20 minutes, it'll turn off. So I use this one instead. I actually don't like this one as much as I like the clip, but the benefit of this one is that it will always stay on as long as it's on. And I think that's it. Um, I have a, I have a, I have a little pin here, a Twitch pin. I have like a 5K Twitch thing there. So I hope this has helped you. Um, I'll turn this into a clip and I'll make more text um, references later. Please enter my Discord, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Whew.